And then Jesus says that there's the good soil, the fruitful heart. The fruitful heart and the, um, who understands, who hears the word, understands, and it begins to bear fruit in their life. And the measure of fruit would be so significant that people began to take notice that the word of God would begin to produce in us fruit that matters. And then notice how he says, right? He says that, that the, the, the good soil it produces 100 or 60 or 30 times even the amount. It, it produces more abundantly than the normal. So as we look at this, this, this parable, it begs to answer this question. What kind of heart do we have? What kind of heart do you have? Again, I, I think it's easy to say, oh, I mean, I, I got good soil. Of course I'm good soil. <laughs> I mean, I go to church on Sunday, so I got good soil. I, got, you know, I, I touch my Bible every once in a while. I got good soil. Or I, even, I, I read the Bible every day. I got, I got good soil. Friends, I don't always have good soil. Sometimes my heart needs to be cultivated back to good soil. Sometimes I find myself not with good soil, where the word is not producing. Because we can, we can reverse engineer this thing, right? It says that the, good, the, the person with good soil produces a crop of 160 or 30 times more it produces something, right? So here's the thing. We can kind of reverse engineer this back that if we are not seeing the fruit of the word of God played out in our lives, then maybe we don't have good soil. Sure, we can read the word. We can, we can know the word. We can quote the word. We can post the word on our Instagram and our Facebooks. and our, we, we, can, we can make sure that every time we study, we snap a picture because it's not a Bible study if you don't snap a picture of it, right? We, we, we can do all of this. But if the fruit of our lives, if the harvest of our lives, if we are not producing in our life fruits of the Spirit, if our lives are not looking more like Jesus, if they're not being recognizably more and more like Jesus, our, if our hearts are not being transformed, and then it actually play out our lives, if our lives are marked with pride and arrogance and hatred and those things, friends, you don't have good soil. If the worries and the cares of this world, if you're so anxious and worried about this year's election, and that's crippling you to where you're so anxious about it, friends, ah, if, if we're not produced, if, if the cares of this world are deceitfulness of wealth is what we think about, constantly we're thinking about the promotion the next thing the next thing the next promotion Jesus is saying I, I'm not even saying I'm just this is what he's saying this is what a good heart looks like a good soil looks like it's producing in us the fruits of God and the harvest of God in this world and so if the fruit of your life is not producing the fruits of the spirit out then we've got some soil conditioning to do. We've got some cultivation of the heart to do, right? And that's okay. That's okay to admit. I mean, I just told you. There's moments, there's times, there's seasons of my life where I look and if I'm honest, I say, I don't have good soil right now because I'm too consumed with the things of this world. I'm too worried and stressed about this thing. I My... If I take a look at the fruit of my life, patience, joy, and love don't define it. And when I see that, when I see the effect of that in my life, honest followers of Jesus say, okay, I've got some heart conditioning. I've got some, I've got some cultivation of my soil to do.
And Jesus, he, you notice who he got most on was the religious people that thought they were all okay. That's who he thumped on most, saying, you're not understanding, right? It was the sinners, the people who were like, I know I'm screwed up. I need you. That's who Jesus was like, yeah, the kingdom of God belongs to you. It, it was the children who just come in faith with him in simplicity. If it's the children, the kingdom of God belongs to you. It was the people who thought they had their lives all together that Jesus said, man, you may look good. You may look like it's coming up, but you got thorns wrapped all around you. You may sprung up quickly, but man, your, your root system is gonna get baked out as soon as the pressures of the world come. What kind of heart do you have today? Like right now. Not, not, not in that good, you know, spiritual time in your life where everything was good and you're kind of coasting on the fumes of that. What's the condition of your heart today? And as you look at it, right, do you have some soil conditioning to do, cultivating to do?